Welcome to Virtual Worship Service with Sherry House Ministries. So happy you're joining me. If you've been joining me, you know we start with worship. A time to just put our minds on the Lord, to thank Him for His goodness in, in our lives and the difference that He makes. Would you worship with me today? Doesn't no matter how you worship. Eyes open, closed, hum, sway, get up, walk around. God just asks that we worship Him in spirit and in truth. Let's worship God. Lord, we honor you. God, we bless your holy name. We thank you for your love, your kindness, your goodness, your grace, your mercy. There's no one like you, God. Thank you for sending your only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Lord, thank you. Jesus, thank you for what you did, your great sacrifice, so that we could be saved. Thank you for your love, for your kindness. Thank you that when you went back to heaven, you sent a comforter, the Holy Spirit, to be with us so that we never walk alone. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Lord, we welcome you into this virtual worship service. God, it is you we need to hear from. But we know you don't speak from heaven, so you use vessels to speak on your behalf, Lord. And so I submit and yield to you now, God. Have your perfect will and way. And bless those that hear this message, whether it be today, tomorrow, sometime down the road. I yield to you. I thank you. I bless your holy name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So, I want to go ahead and start with a psalm. I'm going to read Psalm 52. And it says, Why boast of thou thyself in mischief, O mighty man? The goodness of God endureth continually. Thy tongue deviseth mischiefs like a sharp razor, working deceitfully. Thou lovest evil more than good, and lying rather than to speak righteous. See, lie. Thou lovest all devouring words, O thou deceitful tongue. God shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away, and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place, and root thee out of the land of the living. See, lie. The righteous also shall see and fear, and shall laugh at him. Lo, this is the man that made not God his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches, and strengthened himself in his wickedness. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will praise thee forever, because thou hast done it. And I will wait on thy name, for it is good before thy saints. May God add a blessing to the reading of his holy word. And so I also want to go ahead and um, today I'm going to read, um, let's see, from the book of Peter. First Peter 2, and I'm going to read 1 to 10. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby if so be ye have tasted that the lord is gracious to whom coming as unto a living stone disallowed indeed of men but chosen of god and precious Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief corner, stone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded unto you, therefore which believe he is precious. But unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner, and a stone of stumbling, and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, this being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. But ye are chosen, 
Ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should shew forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. May God add a blessing to the reading of his holy word. And so the message is today is don't stumble over Christ. Don't stumble over Christ. Don't stumble over Christ. Don't take offense if you are a child of God. If you are a child of God, don't take offense to his word. Don't let it be something that stumbles, that causes you to stumble, that causes you to hinder, be hindered. Trust in God. God's way is right. He knows the things that we don't know. He, his word tells us that he is omniscient. And so the message simply is don't, don't stumble over Christ. There are going to be some things in the Bible and some people are going to want the reward of the righteous that the Bible promises. They're going to want the reward of the righteous and they're going to fool themselves into thinking that if they can just alter the word of God somehow in a way that it does not offend them that they can still get the reward of the righteous but see that was an error of Balaam Balaam thought that he could um, he could trick God he thought that he could trick God and um I've done a teaching about Balaam and in fact just finished up um, the teaching. If you're interested, you can visit my website www.sherryhellsministries.org and you can you can see that teaching. But um, Balaam was a was someone who did know God. He knew him, but he decided to be a wicked and corrupt man instead. And so don't think that you can say that you are a Christian yet take his word and and this is not what the followers do normally but this is what someone who has put themselves in a position and they're saying that they are a dame, they are a teacher they are a preacher or, or something and then they are then teaching a corrupt um, they're cor teaching corrupt doctrines that's not from the word of God they may have pieces of the Word of God here and there, but in no way is it the spirit of the Bible. And um, they, they're rearranging it and saying things that God says is not right, and they're saying it is right. And then they'll take other scriptures and say, see, this scripture says this, therefore this is right. We can't fool God. God knows what he said. He knows what he meant. And so don't let his word cause you to... Don't let Christ be an offense where some of the things that he teaches offend you so much that you would rather believe an altered version of the Bible. Read the Bible for yourself so that no man can trick you. Because one day all of us will have to go before Christ and answer for how we lived our lives here on this earth. And he's going to judge us based on his truth, not based on uh, some distorted doctrine. What's at stake? Your soul. Your soul. You don't have another one. You only have one. And so, if you are saying that you are a child of God, I urge you to get to know him for yourself. Well, I know that some of you that will hear this message do not know Christ, and you may want to know him. If that's true for you, you can repeat this prayer. Um, if I say it too fast, you can either pause or you can just listen. And if you agree, just say amen. Dear God in heaven, I come to you today to answer the call of salvation. I admit that I am a sinner in need of a savior. I admit that I am lost in need of guidance and direction. I come to you today to repent of my sins, which means to turn away from them and go in a different direction. God, please forgive my every sin and come into my heart. Be my personal Lord and Savior. I know that in being my Savior, you save my soul and redeem me from the penalty of sin. I know that in being my Lord, I must learn of you, follow you, and be one with you in covenant. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. 
thank you that you are now my Lord and Savior, and I am now born again, a new creation in Christ Jesus. Amen. If you said that prayer sincerely, from a sincere heart, you are saved, and I welcome you. The Bible tells us in Luke 15, 10, that heaven and the angels rejoice when even one sinner repents. So there is actually rejoicing, a rejoicing party, a birthday party, born again party going on for you right now in heaven. And I welcome you. I welcome you. Glory be to God. I welcome you to the family of God. If you don't have a church that you currently attend or a ministry that you follow along with, I welcome you to follow along with us. Visit my website, www.sherryhealthministries.org. While you're there, if this ministry has been a blessing and is being a blessing in your life, please consider sowing a seed to help us advance the Word of God. Till the next time, be blessed and walk with Christ.